What is up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript tutorial and I'm going to do this tutorial on how to write an anonymous function in JavaScript basically an anonymous function it's just a function stored in a variable or it can also go hand in hand with an immediately invoked function expression which you would just use to encapsulate all of your code and to execute it upon uh, page load, but we're not going to talk about the ifies today, we're just going to talk about an anonymous function, so let's just demonstrate two examples. We have uh, one function called uh, greater, it's going to take in a name, and all this is going to do, it's going to return hello plus name. That's about it. So if we were to call greater, we pass it Theo. My name, just get hello Theo, that's it. So our function works, right? Now, the only difference with an anonymous function is it doesn't have it, it itself doesn't have a name, but rather um, it's sort of a variable that has access to that function invocation. So we'll just write it as this var greeter equals a function, takes in a name, it's just going to return. Uh, it's just going to return hello plus name. So now, similarly, we're to log out greeter with Theo. Get rid of this real quick. Run it. Hello, Theo. Why would you want to use this? Um, I guess if you're writing a closure, you want a function returned within a function, or if you want to pass it to a native JavaScript function like set timeout, that might work because we've encapsulated everything in a variable. That's really it. It's just packaging up the function and giving it greater reusability. Um, but we can demonstrate that. So we'll just have function call greeter. And basically all this will do is this will just return greeter. Uh, this will take in a name. And this will just return greeter with the name. So now if we console.log call greeter and Theo, you see that it does the exact same thing. We have this closure in here, which is returning this function because it has access to this name. We can just do this uh, name equals name, and then we can console.log this dot name. Hello, Theo. So that's it, guys. Nothing too complex. I know a lot of the internet likes to make it seem like anonymous functions are hard, or maybe they don't, but. That's all there is to it. It's just to encapsulate the function, give it greater reusability. We'll talk about in immediately invoked function expressions in another video, but I think this is good enough for um, for this video. Um, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Have a great day.